Ah, mounts, the true endgame activity of WoW. Surprisingly, not that many got out of this expansion, we had almost 100 new mounts at the start of Shadowlands, and now in Dragonflight there are only about 40. 12 that you basically get for free directly, a lot you will get at max reputations, with renown, and the rest are not that complicated to get, and there aren't 10 recolors for each, so that's nice. So let's take a look at 10 of the rarest and hardest to get mounts in this expansion so far. First, the Gladiator Mount. Those are always rare and very few people get to actually own them, because you need to get to 2.4 thousand rating in 3v3 arenas and get 50 wins there during season 1. So if you will see someone riding around this drake, know that they are good at PvP, or bought a carry. Next up, this Verdant Skitterfly. It's harder to get than most of the rest since it needs two requirements. You need to get to Renown 25 with the Dragon Scale Expedition, and then it has a very low drop chance to drop from the Expedition Scout Pack. Those can be found all around, but it could take about a hundred of those to get the mount after already farming the reputation to 25, so it could take a while to obtain this. The Liberated Slivern drops from Breezebiter in the Azure Span, one of the only rare drops mounts from this expansion it seems so far. It's quite hard to get since the rare has a long respawn time, spawns high in the air so you need to catch it with your dragon and pull it down, and apparently it has an under 1% drop chance to actually drop the mount. So if you see it, you should make a group and invite people to do it together, and give more people the chance to get it. But don't nuke it, since it takes a while to get there considering how large the dragon isles are. Next up, the loyal Magmatot takes a while to get, because you need to join one of those 100 groups that farm keys at the Obsidian Citadel to max out your reputation with Raytheon or Sabellion, and then complete the Grand Theft and Mammoth achievement to obtain it, by buying an item from them and going to use it on a stolen tame mammoth. Slumbering Worm Slider Shell is a pretty cool mount that you can get by farming, you just need to complete a side quest chain, become a world breaker by getting a membership from a chest, when you turn in a key, and then just get 1000 magmods. Those have about a 10% drop chance from the mobs at the citadel, so you'll only need to kill about 10,000 of those Kalashi and you'll get it. Just a little bit of genocide for a snail. Then there are the two glory mounts. Raging Magmammoth is the reward for glory of the Vault Raider. This is quite easy later on in other patches or even in later expansions, but to find a group and manage to pull off all the achievements in the first patch of the raid is quite challenging unless you have a guild dedicated for this. Same for the Glory of the Dragonflight Hero Dungeon. This one drops Shellac, just for the huge amount of achievements required to obtain it, and the teamwork you need with a coordinated group to pull them off at every dungeon boss in the expansion. For the next two, if you have them right now, you are the only one with them, because we don't know, as of making this video, how to obtain them. Otto is the first one, and Magma Shell is the second. Although they could be easy to get once someone figures out how they are obtained, just like the Sky Claw, that was also a secret, but it was only required to give a troll 60 dishes to get it after all. And finally, arguably the hardest mount to get in a way, this one that I was sitting on, the Utterworldly Otuk Carrier. This is rewarded after you obtain 500 mounts usable on one character, so good luck spending years of farming mounts from every expansion if you want to reach it. Looks good though, and it can also fly, and fits well with the Moonkin form. But that's it for this one, I like that there aren't that many mounts, and most of them are quite straightforward to works toward, compared to Shadowlands. Let me know what your favorite new mount is out of the new expansion, and thanks for watching.